Living next to a construction project is a disruptive experience. Metro Vancouver aims to educate neighbours in advance so they know what to expect. Nonetheless, a major construction project about to begin right next door is rarely seen as good news. Well, I was angry when I first found out about this project because when we bought our home, we had a golf driving range behind us. Now we find we're getting a pump station. We're on the site of the Barnston pump station. You can see it's right next to a lot of the uh, residents that live in this part of Maple Ridge. They're looking over their back fences and seeing our project being built. It hasn't been too bad. It's been noisy. You know, there's been, you live next to a construction site, so. It's just one of those projects for the greater good, as they say, and it has to be done. Today, rebar is being moved onto the site, and workers are tying it in preparation for a concrete pour, one of the quieter stages of construction. Other than the noise of trucks and cranes. Everyone agrees the vibrations from the sheet piling that was done in early 2012 to build access shafts to tunnels under the Low Heat Highway was the worst phase of living next to this project. I was so angry, I came out here onto my deck and the flowers were shaking, the house was shaking, and I had visions of major damage. And we had some damage, but thankfully the people from Metro have addressed the issues and the concrete work that I had done in my backyard here is going to be replaced because it's cracked and it's sunk. Metro Vancouver has been holding regular meetings with the neighbours. We have a working group made up of community members who appoint themselves as being interested in the project and living nearby. We have a core group of about 12 people who come about every couple of months and they advise us on what their concerns are. Neighbours have expressed major concerns about noise once the station is operational and the pumps are running. Because we're so close to the, the residents, we asked our consultant to design the pump station to make it as quiet and friendly to the neighbours as possible. Also, the, the water-cooled motors are a lot quieter. So the whole pump station has got soundproof louvers and things like that to, to make it quiet. There's no such thing as a typical Metro Vancouver construction project, but it's fair to say that road closures are common. Construction noise is unavoidable. Dust is an inevitable byproduct. And delays are not uncommon. Six months, eight months, 10 months, you know, backwards now because of this delay and that contractor and this and that and the other. And so I would just rather them just get in, do it, and, and, and be done with it, you know. Right. Yeah. At this so site, the here. delay was yeah. caused by Metro Vancouver's goal of keeping the work as quiet as possible due to proximity to neighbours. Traditional pile driving is very noisy. So the plan was to use helical piles that are turned into the ground instead. After extensive and time-consuming testing, it was determined the ground was too soft for this method, so engineers decided to pour an extremely heavy base of concrete instead. And that wasn't the only change made to keep nearby residents happy. They've made some alterations to the designs to give us a green roof with a slope away from us. It's excellent. At the end of the day, we can still have a security and the privacy that we really want to enjoy. Anybody that has to deal with Metro Vancouver, my advice to them would be don't overreact to what's about to happen. Get yourself educated, find out exactly what they're proposing and work with them. Some projects take months, others like this one can take years. It's hoped the new pump station will be up and running by the summer of 2015, delivering increased capacity during peak periods to the growing communities of Maple Ridge, Langley and Delta.